Hey everyone, long time no see. I was, um, I had more problems with my arm from, as you know, I got the vaccine and I had more problems with it than I expected to. Um, but I wasn't surprised at the same time because I, I have muscle issues. So I've like, it runs in my family for muscle pains and stuff. So I wasn't really surprised by that. And it's also one of the most common symptoms. Some people have it harder than others. Um, and I had a bit of a headache, but it went away that night. No fevers, not, nothing like that. Um, I was a little tired, but I have fatigue issues. So it took me, I couldn't use my arm through the, through the whole weekend like I couldn't change my babies I couldn't hold my babies um it was pretty sore if I even moved it and so I was taking a little strong amount of ibuprofen so that's why I wasn't able to work but in the meantime I've gotten um as you can see I have a new gadget here I ordered this off uh Amazon it's a turntable for TVs, computers, yeah, uh, like uh, screens, and it holds up to 250 pounds. So I wanted to completely wrap it, but then I realized I wouldn't be able to turn it. So um, I just kind of have it sitting on top like this. This I need more so um, for when I do my full uh, silicone. I'm going to put her on a, um, on a cookie sheet, um, and I'm going to wrap it with this and then I can just lay it on top of here and churn it as I work on her. So that's why I ordered it for that reason or from working on, um, a head or something like that. So. Um, she's been sitting here for days, so I'm just going to look at her and see, um, if there's anything sticking to her. Because she's been here since the last video. Um, I don't know why that's doing that. But I'm going to turn the light on. Here we go. I need this. This is a umbrella light without the umbrella on it. And I need it so I can see in here. My other room, I have a really nice overhead light, like it, like they had in schools. And um, I can't, yeah, she's got a couple of hairs. And uh, I can't, I can't work on her in there because um, she'll be loaded in dog hair. I um. What's it gonna say to you? My one dog, he's well, he's my sister's dog, but I'm helping to raise him. Well, he is part Bouvier, Great Pyrenees, and Greyhound. So his hair I just put dust on that. Did you see that? His hair was so bad. That was on my aquariums. I'm like, how? Oh, no. I don't know if that was from before. It's not coming off. But, oh, poop. Um, I don't know if there's a hair on her when the silicone dried. Or if it's underneath now. I can't tell, but there's a hairline. It looks like hair. There's nothing there. So it might have been on there and dried. Um, so I'm going to have to be really careful when I pick her nose. <laughs> There's only silicone built up in her nose. It's driving me nuts. 
I don't have a very good, um, she shouldn't be touching her with my bare hands. Okay. So yeah, it looks like I got it out. This is a practice face, so we don't have to be too picky, but I want to do on here what I would be doing with her. Remember, this is all the most deadly clothes, but I don't care. Remember, this is a goal to get my full silicone done. All right. So, I got to clean up my mess here. But. So, let me talk to you guys while I'm cleaning this up. Um, about my plans. Okay, so someone gave me this really old um, kit, and I tried to look it up, and um, it's from China, so it's from back from 2007, so that's the reason why I've never worked on it, to sell it, because I don't know if it's a knockoff, most likely is, being it's from China. Um... So I just use it as my practice baby. So what I'm going to do to save myself money is I'm going to copy his head um, and work on it with, uh, I'm going to use Ecoflex 20 and um, make a mold, you know, of the head. And I'm going to practice the whole head on that before I touch um that will be after this but I will not be able to show you um through the copyright laws and um I can't obviously sell it I'll be giving it to my sister like as a cuddle baby or something um so yeah unfortunately I can't show you though this is just practice after that um i'll be ready to work on so far everything is going like really good i'm really impressed by how well everything is curing and going so i have more confidence than i did but not enough to to start her yet but you will i will show you um videos of me working on her because she is i pay well my best friend paid for her and she's a legit uh from uh, mcpherson so you can watch that but a lot of people will copy very like an old um or a cheap one um to learn um but i don't suggest you do that uh with any sculptures over here um because all the china kits are knockoffs and i didn't pay for it someone found it at a thrift store so i'm not supposed to touch it with my hands it's But yeah, so I'll make my stir cuddle baby or something with it. Since she can't afford silicone. So I'm the only one putting money into it. I'm not receiving any money for it. Because Ecoflex is not cheap. Either is the molding. To build the mold and all that so 
but it's cheaper than me buying another kit to work on before I work on mine. Because uh, the cheapest ones I find are in the United States, and then I got to pay import and shipping and all that. All right, so she doesn't feel as sticky as I thought that she would. Now, I did get some, uh, also, I got some wash brushes in the mail. But because her last, her first three washes, we did two with, where's that brush? With this brush. I'm just going to do the third one light with this brush so that um, all the layers, all the layers are even uh, with that, with this brush. And then when I do washes again, then I'll switch to the to the flat brush. So I have my visors on right now, but I think I can turn take them off now. Okay, so we want the closest there is to yellow. So I'm been trying to do this where make it as close to primary method as possible i can't mix these because they're not pigments they have part a in them i mean part b so i can't like mix them to make colors you can only do that with pigments so um i'm just going to do the best that i can with what i got um this paint comes out really nicely though the chris c Silicone FX Ultimate P, um, by McPherson. See, so that's um, like a goldish, it's a white orchid. It's almost like a gold color, which, which will work for yellow because we're going to be bringing it down a bit too with the thinner. Sorry, I'm going to move that there. So let's get to work. I'm going to stop my yakking. Um... All right, so here's our thing here. I just cleaned this up, so we should be good to use it. The black one is always for part B, so we know, I mean part A, so we know uh, not to use that one. Okay, so light orca. Oh, I forgot the paint thinner, right? <laughs> paint thinner. Okay, so I put the paint thinner in here, and it did cure, so there's no latex in that thinner or it wouldn't have cured it's a lot easier than dumping the, the big bottle i'm gonna wear a mask just you don't have to i don't ever smell anything but because i have asthma i'm just gonna wear a mask just to be on the safe side okay so we're gonna take out Ever since I've been working on this, I'm just wondering why she can't come in here. <laughs> uh, it's one of my one of my dogs. Um, I'm just gonna use the bottom of this stick to give this give this a stir. It's really goopy. Okay. All right. So let's go with part. You guys see what I'm. So I know I have this a bit in the way. Let's move this over a little bit so you can see. Because I, I don't want to do that over the face. I don't want to get in the habit of that. I'm going to stick to get it out or I won't be able to get it out. These coffee stirs work great. To get it out of this tiny little spoon because I'm just doing a little face so I don't want to waste it okay so I'm just now I'm gonna take the spoon okay um 
there's the paint under it. I'm going to take the spoon and kind of just slide it off so I know I don't have too much. That's what I've been doing to even it out. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in the tray. And that's okay if it sticks to the stick because I can mix it. in when I put in the uh, thinner. The thinner will grab onto it. Make it less goopy. Okay, so now we're, we're gonna get part A, which is here, with our black, with our black spoon. And I'm gonna use the other end of the stick. I'm trying to pick it up, I can't pick it up with the other end of the stick. So we're just gonna see, grab the exact way you did it with the paint. So we're gonna grab it like that. Use the other end of the stick so we don't mix any part A in there because it's in the, uh, I mean part B because it's in the paint. It's not a uh, pigment. It's mixed. Part B is mixed with the pigment. I don't think all her paints are like that. I think only the trial ones are. But you could find out if that's been changed. It's been a while since I asked her about that. Okay, so now we can mix them together because they're both in there. It actually gives a nice yellowy color. We're going to add some thinner in there. Oh, it's really goopy. Still wants to stick to the stick. There's not much color in there. Because I'm doing it as a wash, so I need... I need it to be more yellowy than that. That's not very much yellow. Okay, we're going to add a little more. So, i got to grab a different stick. So part. This is you guys get to watch me learn. Okay, I can't use that stick. I gotta use an owl. I gotta use, oh no, no. Sorry, I'm trying to get, I need to get containers for this, but we're still in lockdown, so I'm very limited to what I can buy right now. Okay. Okay, we're going to put that in there. I actually can't let it touch because Okay, I'm just going to stick it like that because I can't let them touch any part B. <laughs> well, I mean part A, I will actually be shocked if this cures. Being that I'm doing it differently than what I usually do it. It will be a big shocker. Let's get another stick. Because I, I have to do it in another area. I can't. 
Okay. Okay. We're going to put, we're going to try and do a little less thinner and see if that helps. Sorry, I gotta see what I'm doing. Because I need some more color here. Kind of easier. Um, this is, in one way, it's easier like this because you're learning um, where you only have to match up with the paint instead of adding the pigment. Um, so in that case, it is easier. But when you can do the pigments without wasting um, your part, the uh the part b that's already in the pigment to get the color you desire i mean pigments are better in that way because see this has to be like thin enough but i i need color at the same time so i'm going to close these so they don't dry up I need the lid for this one But we'll see if it if it'll cure. So where's my paintbrush? It's here. I'm gonna take it off. It's sticky paper. I'm place it on my hand. It's easier to place it on my hand because it's flat. How is this brush hard? I cleaned it out with thinner. Man, I cleaned it out like you know how many times with thinner. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to use one of my new brushes then, because that brush is hard as a rock, which is unfortunate because it's a nice brush. Maybe I can salvage it with paint. Let it sit in some paint thinner. Okay. Here we go. So this is a wash brush. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna put the face up again. We're just gonna call it a she, who knows. Now, because this color is so light, I would need more or do a double layer. Okay, I just had enough in here. To go over it. Like, I'm not going to see, like, a huge difference because it is so fair. And I can't use this other side. It'll be solid by the time. By the time I can use it. Uh, that's okay. I just wish this color was stronger. That's all. 
That's my only issue. It's not as stronger as, as the other colors. So I blotted it down. So I'm going to put it back up on here. Let it cure. Um, what I do want to do, though, is when I do modeling, people use uh, sea sponges. I'm having trouble getting a sea sponge right now, so... Um, I thought I brought it in here. I wanted to test one of my modeling sponges I use. Oh, here it is. Now, because these expand, they might have latex in them because they expand. I don't know. Um, it just depends. So I'm just going to take out, since we already made it, I'm going to take some of this stuff that I'm not using now because... It'll cure by the time I can put it on the face. So I'm just going to put some on here. And see if it. I want to see if it'll cure. Just going to put all of it on there. I don't use the top, so... Unless blushing an area, but it's okay. So I'm just going to leave this. I'm not going to leave this sponge in here, though, in case there is latex in it. Then this won't cure. That's why I didn't do this until last, and until after I was done touching the face. So, we'll see what it does. I'll let you guys know. Hey, yeah, so, that's done for today. And, we'll see if there's a little yellow tinge to it. And we can track it from the video from before. But, like, because these layers are so thin, because it's a wash, it's really hard to tell right now. Because it's just beginning. Now, after this, I'm going to start some modeling um, layers. I'm going to start doing modeling. Now, the modeling colors... I would usually do. I can't... I can't do on this face because it's not pigmented. These are mixed with part uh, B. So it's not like I can mix them together to make colors. You can with pigments, but I wouldn't suggest doing it this way. Or you could um, wind up with some issues. So I don't know. I guess if you use the same amount of B, I mean of A, that you, that you take out, I, I, I mean, maybe you could, I don't know, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to stick with, with what I got here. So, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see how it went.